All right, hello, my name's Todd. I'm a lieutenant for the Edina Fire Department. So my job is vehicles. So I'm the operator, the driver of the big red fire trucks you see on the road. At the Edina Fire Station, we actually have a lot of different kind of fire trucks. We're gonna take a really good look at the, the engine, but uh, we have ambulances right here. We use to take uh, sick or hurt people to the hospital and take care of them and treat them and when we are taking them to the hospital. So why don't you follow me? As you can see, our fire trucks are red. And that's pretty typical that fire trucks are red because it's a bright color so people can see them on the road really easy. But you'll see some, some fire trucks that are actually yellow. We like red fire trucks here. And each door where we sit and drive the fire trucks is just like the cars you have at home. And the most important thing that we use, just like you do at home, is our seat belts. And they're red so we can see them and we can put them on real quick right when we get in the truck and sit down. But what's a little bit different than your car at home that your parents might have or your grandma and grandpa is that we have a lot of doors on our truck. So each door has a lot of equipment in it that we use to do our job. And as you can see in the back of the truck, that's where we sit down and um, we buckle up and that's how we get to the, to the emergency calls or fires that we go on. And we have a special place for our fire gear. So when we unbuckle and get out of the truck, we can put our fire gear on. And I'll open up some of these doors so you can see all the tools that we use when we go to a fire to do our job. So in this compartment, we have our fire axes that we, uh, that we use either to get through walls or to open up holes in the roofs. And these are our breathing apparatus, so it's just like a scuba tank when we go underwater because smoke is really bad to breathe. So that's where our air packs are. And then we got little fire extinguishers that we use there. And in this cabinet, this is our water rescue stuff. So we have throw ropes and bags and life jackets. So if somebody is in the water, we're able to go in the water and, and get them out safely. And in the back here, we have brooms and shovels and cones that we can set onto the road because it's really dangerous to be out on the road, especially at night, so we want people to see us. And then if you come back here to the back of the truck, this is where all of our fire hose uh, comes from on the back of the truck. So we got the tray of all that hose, and then if you look up top here, We got a lot more fire hose that we can use to go a long way and, and spray a lot of water on the fire if we need to. And even in these little cabinets, we have really long ladders that slide into these compartments and that's where we keep those. And if you follow me to the other side here, and so this is kind of like the brain of the fire truck. So this is, we got all these levers and buttons, and this is how you operate the truck to get water out of it and through the fire hose. So this is kind of like, kind of like the brain of the truck, and that's, that's how we operate the truck right back here. And here we have our saws, our chainsaws, and then we can cut into roofs or walls if we have to. And then we got extra air bottles. And these are, this compartment mainly is like a uh, rescue compartment for vehicles, um, accidents and, and things that are really heavy that we can take care of. And we got fans and lights, lots of lights and flashlights that we use all the time. And this tray rolls out because this fire hose is the fire hose we take up when we have to run into a, um, a super high building like, like an um, apartment building maybe um, or a hotel. We can take this fire hose up into the fire. And then we're coming right back around. Kind of the same thing. That's how the, another door to get into the back just like your cars at home with the seats and seat belts.
And this is where the driver sits. So you can see it's, it's very similar to your cars at home, except there's a lot more buttons, buttons we have to hit for the flashing lights and all that. And if you come up to the front here, this is our last compartment. And we got fire hose, and then these are special, really powerful tools that we can cut apart cars if uh, in a car accident. And the best part of all with the fire truck is it's got lots of nice bright lights. Well, thank you for allowing me to show you our fire truck at the Dyna Fire Station. Thank you.